All righty, welcome back to the Big Ski family. This week was a very special week for us. Yes. We got away. Very memorable. We got away. Where'd and we, we go? We went on a the 10th anniversary cruise for, it was called the Love Like You Mean It cruise put on by Family Life today. Yeah. And spectacular. Yes. Every way. We went down to uh, the Bahamas and Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, down the Virgin Islands area Places for eight we, days. Eight days. And we've yes. never been there before. Oh, no. And eight days away for the two of us is a really big deal. It's a special thing. So Janice flew down to LA and met me in Los Angeles. It was a real treat to have her in my strategic coach workshop with me on, on Friday. And then we took off the next day for Fort Lauderdale. And everything went great on the flight. And we landed. And it was all cool. And then... I lost my luggage. You didn't lose it. Well, I they lost, lost it, it for yeah. you. All right, so Janice, um, I have a question for you. Yes. You got to be honest. You always have questions. In front of me and all these witnesses. Yes. All right, we're at the airport yeah. and your big bag with all your clothes yeah. didn't make it. It didn't. Are you trying to buy a whole new wardrobe? Is that, that would what you're, be fun. Is that what you're trying to do? Be, be honest. <laughs> Did you no pay somebody control. to just like have the bag disappear so you could no. start over? No. Okay, she says she didn't. I'm gonna believe her. Just tell me, yes, you believe her, or no, you don't believe her. Look at her. You do telling I the truth? Like it, yeah. <laughs> do I look like a <laughs> sneaking <laughs> thief, lying, cheat? No. Anyways, we're in Fort Lauderdale, and uh, she has no clothes. How appropriate is that for a cruise? This is gonna be a good time. And the last thing you want to do is go on an eight-day cruise without your luggage, right? I don't know. I thought it would be kind of cool for her to have no clothes okay. for eight days, but Stop. that's another subject. Anyways, yeah. So we. What happened? Yeah, so all my luggage showed up the next day. So all was good. She didn't have to buy a new wardrobe. We ended up getting on a boat that was called Royal Car Caribbean Allure of the Seas. The world's largest cruise ship, apparently. We had no clue we were getting on this thing. Let me give you a few facts. It has three massive engines that have 7,400 horsepower each, okay, to, to move this thing. It's ginormous. It's literally 1,187 feet long and 215 feet wide. Guys, this is a city, 17 stories high, right? And it, it holds over uh, 6,800 people, including guests and staff, okay? I mean, just unbelievable. It is decked to the hill. What are some of the things that were on this boat, Janice? Oh, well, they had um, a little mini golf course. Yeah. A play area for kids like water slides or whatnot. Us, you know, yeah. Those that want to um, be full-size basketball court, ping yes. pong tables, jacuzzis galore. Yeah. Of Pools course, everywhere. Food everywhere. And probably the most fun was the Oh, um, Flow Rider. Float Rider, yeah. Flow Rider was a kick. Yeah. Janice she busted so out some moves. I'm telling you, you gotta watch this. Ready? Show her moves. Hey, you did awesome. Did. Anyway, it was fun. I did the boogie board side, and after you do that, then you're allowed to go over to the uh, the stand up side. You wife. did it, and you like I had a ball. I really had a ball. Mastered it. Not mastered it, but, but I I definitely it. it was big improvement because the first time I stepped on, I just went straight up on my head. And it was so fun because we were doing it with some friends of ours who we know that were just a blast to be with and shared memories outdoors, in the sun, recreating, fun time. This boat has everything. Wow. So, Denise. Um, I feel like I'm going to the mall right now. First cruise. Like first cruise you've ever been on. And it's quite an interesting thing. It literally feels like a mall online a boat. 
Oh yeah, first uh, first cruise uh, today. Sure. First cruise today. Yeah, no, Caribbean. Okay, well let's go check it out. Yeah. It is a floating city. And the workout area was amazing. Oh. Just like tons of treadmills. Just World class fitness center. Yes. World class. Everything. Free rates. It was amazing. Everything was five star. The eating area was all linens and yeah. glass. You know, you just felt people were very timely, even though they're serving so many people. Yes. There's, what, 5,000 people were on the yeah. coast? Yes. I guess. And they served very timely and very good food. The food was very good. Yeah. Yes. 100% quality on all of it. And what was cool is you could really maintain your health and wellness on this trip yeah. because there's so many good healthy options i mean we had our share of ben and jerry's it was a daily ritual <laughs> Uh, we tried, but yeah. man, we were consistent with yeah. our Ben and Jerry's. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we didn't miss a click. Anyways, but we had so much fun being together in this environment on this boat. And this boat was spectacular. All these fun things to do. But really, it was the people and the content of the whole experience that made it rich. We were able to tie in with some loved ones that we had met in times past, dear friends from a long time ago, and some for more recent, that really opened up the experience for us, just sharing meals together, getting to know what's going on in their lives, what the Lord's doing in, in, in their marriages. It was really fun. Yeah, and then we got, we had these breakout sessions where they would have uh, Christian speakers, and they would spoke on things like um, building your children's faith, Yes. Um, set the importance of slowing down and having rest for your family. Yes. It was so good though, because it was ministering to us as a couple. Yes. And, it, and it, it, Alex Kendrick, the guy who did Courageous and Fireproof and all these movies, he spoke on raising a children of faith. And I'll tell you what, that's a big priority for Janice and I in our marriage, in our family. And it was very encouraging to be reminded of some things that were just really, really biblical truths and powerful. There were other things that um, were spoken of. So yeah, there was just... All these talks, you can pick and choose from this wonderful menu of things to be engaged with, to learn, and, and to be filled. Yeah, there's no way you could get to everything. There was just yes, too much. Yes, there were yeah. plenty of options. But what's weird is, that being said, it felt like it was just right. You were able to get what yeah. you needed, right? You make your own schedule. If you yes. want to go sit in the sun. Yes. If you need time just to... We had some really good conversations. I'll tell you what. Just being able to slow down and not have... Um, I don't know, all, all the busyness, busyness of life, life just yeah. work and children and whatever, on an extended time. It was really great. I think the reason why this was a 10 on a scale from 1 to 10 for vacations for us was that, first of all, there's adventure outside, so we went to Puerto Rico. Fun. Let's go explore. Exploring, you ready? Yep. All right, so we're here in, like I said, uh, in the newer part of Puerto Rico. Let's see all the new buildings. We've got Marriott, all these nice hotels along the side. But it's really stunning here. Denise. Yes. Welcome to Puerto Rico. Hola, baby. Hola. We got a coconut necklace. It's made out of coconut, coconut. on the back, around the front. They paint it with Pretty. a shellacket. And then those are real coconut earrings. Yeah. You didn't even know coconuts had earrings, but those are the real deal. At San Juan, it was so fun because you got this mixture of an old town that's just very historic and beautiful, artsy, colorful, cobblestone streets, narrow streets, little shops with all sorts of things that we were able to buy little gifts for the children. And then there's a new part with five-star hotels and beautiful beaches and, yeah. and of course, some of the devastation from recent hurricanes and earthquakes and see their rebuild and everything. But people so friendly, 
Wonderful time there. Then we went to St. Thomas. St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. And what we do there? We went snorkeling. <sighs> and we got to see a ship that was under um, the water. Yes. It was broken up and see all these wonderful fish. And that was super fun. <laughs> It was beautiful. It and was the just... water, of course, perfect temperatures. And then they took us to this like island that was secluded, just a white beach. And we just sat out there, just quiet. Yes. It was great. It was great. Yeah. It was great. And so you're right. It's funny. I'll be real frank with you. The thought of going on a cruise was not exciting for me. I told Janice, I don't think I ever want to go on a cruise again. We went on one to Mexico years ago, and it was just not my idea of a good time. It was a bunch of people, seemed like they were all getting drunk and just crazy loud music and in, just immodesty and proper behavior. It was like a bunch of 12 year olds that were adults trying to have a good time. And I'm like, get me off this island. I'm stuck with this whole situation. I don't like it. And this was like flipping the entire thing on its head. You're talking a complete different environment where beautiful Christian music is playing. It's encouraging throughout the whole venue. It didn't matter where you were. People, you know, there was modesty. There was a, a care and concern for one another. There just was this great fellowship that was happening. Mm -hmm. Special one-on-one -on -one quiet times. Mm -hmm. Adventure, fun. There was dancing. There was a chance to, to do some, some fun activities. And there was also, they had two formals while we were there. So kind of that fun. was fun to get dressed up. And so Chad came without a suit. I'm like, hey, go down to the front desk and see if you can rent a tux. So they outfitted him in an amazing tux. He looked like a million bucks. And, um, and then there's photographers everywhere, like taking your pictures galore. That was, you know. She loved it. Couldn't I'm get enough of it. I'm not a selfie person. Come on, come so, on. No, <laughs> it was fun to get some pictures. Yes. And um, and then they on Valentine's Day, it was so special because they did this big balloon drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey! Happy Valentine's! Hey, hey. <laughs> and Family Life Today put up this board and they, um, before we got on the ship, they asked all of us to send in a picture of our wedding day. And so they had little squares of our picture. And so we got to put our little face and then, you know, as we zoom in on it, it's us. And then it's all these families and it's these marriages. Marriages are the foundation for great families and great families minister to the world, you know? So yeah. it's just, it was just a real blessing to see that um, in a physical way. And it just felt like this perfect mixture of all those things. I'll be over frank with you. I was shocked at the experience. I mean, so much so I was like, Janice, I didn't think I'd ever want to go on a cruise again, but I would repeat this in a heartbeat. Yeah, we and were so pleasantly surprised. Yes. I forgot one thing. Yeah. We, they had an aqua show. Yes. So the cruise put this show on. It was amazing. We, uh, we ended up getting off the boat on Sunday morning and had a few, about six hours before we headed back on our flight to Seattle and, L and back to Redmond. And Chad never just sits around in the airport. He's like, we got six hours. Are you kidding? Let's get a tour. Let's go somewhere. Kidding? Let's check out Fort Lauderdale. So we went to Fort Lauderdale and Chad 
set us up with a little cruise on a boat that taxied us through all these little waterways where we got yes. to see these amazing houses. It was awesome and the guides were phenomenal. They were very funny and educational and pointed out different owners of different homes. This guy owns Home Depot and you know, and this is Mr. Amway's yacht and you know. And this is Mr. Taco know, Bell, yeah. I mean, not Taco Bell, Mr. Bell. <laughs> kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Taco Bell, it's, it's exactly right. Anyways, it was awesome, enjoyed that, you know, and then we caught an Uber back to the airport and then flew home to see our amazing our children, children and pour back into them. And they had done, I'm gonna say, a phenomenal job. When yes. we came back, their cups were full. Each one of the children, older children, had taken a day and owned that day and poured creativity and energy into that day with the food and loving on their siblings. And it just really made the whole thing work really, really well in our absence. And we came back and again, so proud of them and grateful for them. And came be able back to, to a clean back. house, which yeah. was just, you know, they're so sweet. So sweet. Okay there, so here's the deal. On a scale from one to 10, the vacation was a? 10. Okay. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. 10, for and sure. so he went and signed up for us for next year. I did. Yes. Because it was that good. Yeah, and they put him as a group leader because we want to get at least eight to 10 couples to come. We do. We're super Thanks. excited because we had so much fun, but we're going, if there were couples, other additional couples that we knew and loved on the, the ones that were there made our experience even that much richer. And I'm going, I just want to expand this. And so like Jenny said, we want to share this with you guys. If you want to enroll, we enrolled as group leaders. The code name, promo code is Chad Johnson. I'm the group leader. We're gonna to try to get eight couples to 10 couples to join us. I've already reached out to my parents and they are gonna go, I believe. And I'm so excited about being on this ship with my parents. And I think it's it's a, an ideal place to go with people you love because you can get these shared moments together as well as there's plenty of time for alone time. If we get eight couples, Family Life is gonna actually give us an extra state room that we can gift to a couple that really would benefit from this that may not be able to ever afford it. And so that's kind of our vision with this is that we wanna just get more people on the boat and maybe give a gift to somebody who just really would benefit from being there. So um, if you enroll using Chad Johnson as a promo code, you can call this number 1-855-208-8822. Okay, that'll be available below. But if not, go online to the um, lovelikeyoumeanitcruise.com and you can use Chad Johnson as your promo code and they'll give you 150 bucks off your enrollment. Now, if there is another special offer that's even better than that or whatever, you can use that promo code, but then uh, tell them that you wanna be a part of the Chad Johnson group. And okay? this doesn't mean that you have to hang out with us all week. Oh, believe me. No. The th no, this is about you as a couple. Yes. And, and if we run into each other or we wanna grab a meal together if we yeah. choose to, but there's zero pressure in being a part of this group. You're gonna do whatever excursions you want, yeah. and yet there'll be awesome opportunities to interact as as uh, as the cruise. Because again, you have, again, these eight wonderful days. And where are we going next year? We'll start at San Juan, Puerto Rico, Sorry. and then go south from there. And I'm gonna post a flyer here because there's four different locations they stop at, and it's gonna be an exceptional snorkeling and dive tour if you're into that. So I plan on getting recertified or refreshing my cert. And if not, the snorkeling is going to be off the hook, but just being I'll on be together. I'll be snorkeling with you ladies that well, don't want to scuba dive. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, she might get certified. Oh uh, no. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, love you guys. Hope some of you join us. Take care. Bye -bye.